Thank you very much, sir. Um, we can see that we're here, obviously, for, should I say, the unveiling? Yes. Or a briefing, obviously, by a new party. Yes. Um, the AAC. Yes. Can you tell us a bit more about the party and the idea behind getting a new party? Yes, the party is uh, a new political party that emerged from the Take It Back movement, which started six months ago. And uh, it was a launch of my own presidential aspiration for Nigeria. And a lot of young people came together on that Take It Back. For them, they don't really like the idea of a political party. Because you see political parties in Nigeria as opportunistic vehicles for people who want to engage in looting of public resources. So they came on the platform and at the point we decided to talk to other political parties and found that uh, a lot of them have a very interesting mix of uh, leadership and also manifest to an agenda that don't necessarily conform with ours. So we quietly decided to register a brand new political party uh, to have an African feel to it because we believe that the moment Nigeria gets it right, the continent of Africa, other African countries, we have the brother to look up to. And Nigeria has always had a foreign policy uh, perspective that is mostly about the betterment of the African continent, because we're ultimately the most important African country on the continent. So that's why we put the African field to it, so that whatever is happening in Nigeria next year will immediately spread uh, across Africa and will energize, motivate other young Africans who have been looking to take over their respective countries for, by way of taking over their destiny. All right, um, let me ask a more personal question. Yes. There's a lot going on right now in, in the country. You know, um, politicians battling this, who are our leader, the National Assembly, political parties, the campaign, left, right. Um, you are coming into that scene, which many might tag as a very, very turbulent scene currently. What is your view on the current political situation? In There's nothing turbulent about the political situation. And what you are seeing, what is being carried out by these carpet baggers that we call them, is just distraction. This is how they distract the public whenever elections are coming. They create this fake, you know, crisis to make you feel like they have differences or that some of them are more grounded than others. At the end of the day, you take sides. And you take sides with, it's just about taking side with, you know, a thief who presented himself better in the afternoon than the one who is a thief at night. Uh, you know, we know them enough. I come from a background of reporting news and political news for 12 years. This is what happens in every election cycle. They always create the impression that they're about to tear themselves into pieces. But it's not about us. It's not about Nigerian people. So don't be distracted, don't even get carried away by it. I'll tell you, a few months before the election, they will have more realignment. You've seen some of them disgracefully. The camping from one party in the afternoon to the other in the evening, and the next day they are back to the same party that they camp from. That tells you something. It's all distractions, it's all games. They're playing political games that are normal during this electoral cycle. They figured us out, the Nigerian people, that we like you know, these kind of distractions. All right, sir. Um, in 2014, we saw the current ruling party, the APC, yes. come together. I think it was, it was a coalition of a number of parties. Yes. And just very recently, the um, now the PDP has done the same thing. A lot of parties come together. Yes. Now they are trying to be as formidable as possible. Yes. Your party is just coming on the scene. Yes. What plans do you have to stand strong and to, should I say, contest? Well, which is what it will be against well, this political party. I, we, it's not about plans. We have a grand plan that has already come in six months ago. We've traveled to 26 days in Nigeria as we speak, been to villages, towns and cities and campaigns. We've been outside the country mobilizing the Nigerian diaspora. We've been raising funds. The first to do it was in GoFundMe transparently. And uh, you know, at this point, you can check it out. Probably would be like, I've been the only aspirant for the Office of Presidency in Nigeria who's raised funds transparently to the amount that is on GoFundMe uh, as of today. And what you're finding more and more is that people are trusting us more. They're trusting the process that we've engaged in more. We've engaged in a style of politicking and campaigning that nobody has ever seen before. You know, what they call probably retail politicking where we actually go out there and talk to people, we'll town hall meetings, meet and greet people on the streets and ask them what their needs are. And you know, kind of do a need assessment. We travel on the bad roads, we see them, we film them, and 
our campaign has also become a form of advocacy to the extent that when we complain about things that we see during our campaign, our campaign the government do act upon them. Two weeks, about a week ago, we went to INEC to ask for extension of uh, uh, voter registration exercise. They extended it. So, countless of ideas that were put out there that have been stolen and hijacked by the ruling party has been there. So, but what I can tell you, going to your question about coalition, coalition, nobody's going to be fooled by coalition this time around. And what people want is a political party that has an agenda and that got ideas that they can defend and engage uh, with the public about. And that's where we're coming from. And we are seeing unprecedented level of support uh, based on this very innovative style of uh, political by politicking. And as you can see outside, you see a lot of young people, hundreds of them who have come here. There are 23 political parties that were registered yesterday. This is probably the only place you find any form of activity happening. You know, you can't even find activity happening on this scale at the headquarters of the PDP or the APC. If you do, they probably hire people to come and do that. These people are organic. Young people who are organically connected with our political platform, and they're here to express their support, you know, and they're gonna do it on rain or sunshine. Finally, sir, thank you very much for the answer so far. I like that you mentioned the people. Yes. What? Is your promise, your mandate, what is your word to these people as regards your As for word is to let them know that help is on its way. And our promise to them is we have a political agenda. Now maybe think out with now that we have a political party, but we have actually developed our own manifesto, which is encapsulated in what we know as PISA hey, that's the acronym for it, which is that our first priority is security. Second is power, electricity, you know, we must get it right. It's the starting point for any economic development or growth in this country. Uh, the third is to grow our infrastructure the way it's never been done before. Dual carriageways, schools, rail lines, not on paper. You know, bridges in places where they don't exist, schools, hospitals, not on paper, but actually built to the specifications that they are valuable uh, and have utility for the people of Nigeria. Uh, we have plans for health, education, agriculture, tourism. Uh, we have uh, plans to restructure Nigeria to create an economy that is democratic and all-inclusive, not an economy that is based on paper PowerPoint presentations and that is based on the size of foreign reserve when people are starving to death at home. So those are the things that we can tell them and we are confident that Nigeria is about to witness the best. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. We are really pleased to have you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.